These tumors can be challenging to diagnose because they are so rare. And as a pathologist and a neuropathologist, uh, my role is to be a part of the team where I can give the most precise diagnosis possible um, to help the study move forward and to help the patients with these tumors get the best treatment for their disease. It, uh, precision medicine, as uh, many people have, have heard of, it requires a, a number of components. And one of them is a precision diagnosis. W without a proper diagnosis, um, a lot of precision medicine afterwards cannot, may, may not go as well as one, one would hope. So one wants to make sure, especially in rare, c rare um, brain tumors, that, um, that the diagnosis is, is, is prioritized. So that it, it, it may be that there's no issue, with the, the diagnosis is, is, is perfectly fine. And so I'm not, I don't mean to imply that, that it wouldn't be. However, it's, it's worth the conversation with, especially if it is a rare tumor, to make sure that the, the case has been examined by a, a neuropathologist who has experience um, seeing these kinds of tumors and if necessary, has been consulted with um, perhaps another neuropathologist or um, at another center, um, just, just to make sure, because um, th there, there can be issues with rare tumors where the pathologist may not have seen a lot of these particular tumor types. And so, so it, it, it could benefit from, uh, from consultation. Another advantage of NCI Connect is that um, our standard is that for, for every case that's reviewed, the histopathology slides are, are reviewed by us personally as neuropathologists. And in addition, we ask for, for tissue in the form of a tissue block or unstained slides, which are available at the pathology department where the patient received their, their operation. And with this tissue, we, uh, we undergo perhaps additional additional staining to kind of help us diagnose this tumor. So that's our new standard of care here, is that every case receives a, a integrated diagnosis that includes histopathology uh, and includes molecular analysis. That, that's our standard of care. And so I think that's a, a, another added value of the NCI Connect program, which is unique. And that is, this is, this is uh, something that we do routinely. We, we're, we're getting more and more experience with this. And with that, um, we can sometimes uncover unexpected and unusual things that may not have been picked up um, from the original pathology. One, one ad advantage of uh, initiatives such as NCI Connect uh, if, is the ability to collect reasonably sized numbers of these rare tumors. Um, seen in isolation, they can be difficult to classify, but when collected as groups, one can begin to understand them and to more accurately classify them because we're gaining more, more experience with that. In addition, we, sh we share knowledge and information with the community of brain tumor researchers and neuropathologists both within the United States and across, across the world, essentially, and by consulting with our, the, our colleagues, we can share our information and with that, that collective experience, we can make better diagnoses. We're better, better able to accurately classify these uh, in, into specific uh, clinical pathologic entities that I think will be better for the patients who have these tumors. Learn more at cancer.gov forward slash NCI dash connect. Contact us nciconnect at mail.nih.gov 240-760-6530 U.S. Department of Health and Human Services National Institutes of Health National Cancer Institute Cancer.gov 1-800-4-CANCER Produced May 2020